Hey, good morning, boys and girls. I hope that you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving with your family. I'm sure the groups were a little smaller this year, and maybe you didn't get a chance to see as many cousins or your grandparents, but I still hope that you had a good Thanksgiving and it was fun and meaningful for you. And now here we are, Sunday, November 29th, and it's the first day of Advent. Advent. What is Advent? Well, Advent means to come. Something that is coming. It's something that you expect. And what is it that we are expecting in Advent? What is coming? That's right, Christmas. Christmas is coming. Everything's starting to look a little bit more like Christmas and people are starting to talk about it. But today is the first Sunday in Advent. Now, when we think about Christmas coming, it's an exciting time. We are excited about it, but it's very hard to wait. It's very hard to wait knowing that we're going to have lots of fun and excitement coming up in a couple of weeks. But I like to use this time of waiting as kind of preparation for the holiday. And I like to do baking. I like to turn my radio to Christmas carols, songs, and I also like to decorate my house and put up my Christmas trees. Those are Christmas tree. Those are all things that I enjoy doing when I'm waiting for Christmas to come. I like to prepare for it. And I bet there are things that you do too, right? You can think of some of the things that you do or your family does to get ready for Christmas. And as we're waiting, I know sometimes we get caught up with all of the things I mentioned, baking and decorating, but it's nice to just kind of take a break every once in a while and think about really why we're celebrating Christmas. And that is of course, because that is Jesus' birthday. Jesus was born and he was uh, given to us by God, and we rejoice in the fact that he was born, and that's why we celebrate it, and it's such a big holiday. Now, on the first Sunday of Advent, what do we do? We already did it this morning. That's put the candle, or light the candle, in the Advent wreath, and you see an Advent wreath, and how many candles are in this Advent wreath? That's right, four. There are four candles. Each candle is for a week before Christmas. So there are four weeks before Christmas. So every Sunday, next Sunday we'll light another candle and then the next Sunday and finally on December 20th, we'll light the final candle and Christmas will be that following Friday. So we're ready to begin the Christmas season. Now, when we talk about the birth of Jesus and talk about lighting a candle, if it's Advent, why would we light a candle during Advent? Well, the reason we do that is because it's a symbol of Jesus, because Jesus is the light for us. Jesus is the light of the world. And Jesus' birth is something that is happy and makes us feel joyful during this time of the year. And especially because it is so dark right now, it gets darker very early. And so Jesus' birth is the light, the light in this dark time. So I hope as you go through your preparations and wait for the fun things that are gonna happen later, that you think about Advent and enjoy the time, the waiting and the anticipation. And remember that Jesus, who was our light, will be coming. Let's bow our heads. Heavenly Father, as we spend time in this waiting place, we look forward with great joy to the celebration of Jesus and a time of giving and love. Thank you for the joy of Advent and the light, which is Jesus Christ. Amen. You guys have a great week.